What's up, Pants Patrol, and welcome back to some more Pokemon X, the Gale of Darkness Randomized. I apologize, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. Uh, I've been busy, I've been tired, I've been all over the place. <laughs> and if I'm totally honest, I'm gonna have a I'm, okay, I'm gonna have a little heart to heart with you here. I'm not a hundred percent enjoying uh, content creation at the moment. In fact, I haven't for a while. Uh, I've always, I, like, for quite a long time, I've been thinking the content's really bland. It's really, ugh, this. Every time I sit down to record, it's better record a video. I'll have to record a video for today. Oh, better record a video for tomorrow instead of, yes, I'm gonna be recording, gonna be playing some games. Yeah, it's time to record. Heck yeah. So, I haven't really been energetic about it. But, I've got some plans in motion. And hopefully in the, fu in the near future, things will be picking up a little bit. So, my energy levels should be a little higher. Apologies for the blanket as well. I am cold. It's freezing in this house. <laughs> Though, it could just be me because I'm freaking knackered. I'm exhausted. Anyway, what did we do last time? Last time, we kicked Gorgon's ass. We snacked his Shadow Mons, I think. Yes, we did. We did do that. Yes. I had to think there for a moment. Yes, we did. And uh, he escaped to Citadark Isle along with everyone else and Mr. Grievel. Master Grievel. Uh, so, off screen, I went to heal up at the healing station and on the way out, this popped up. Oh, we, we've, we've been robbed! Okay. Darn it! Bring it back! Darn it! Give it back! Bring it back! Hello? These two weird guys took off with a shadow Pokemon. One had like a mohawk and the other had hair like a ball. Darn it! They made off with the last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. Have you got anything to say about it? The abducted shadow Pokemon was a Dragonite. That ended up being the last shadow Pokemon to be made at this factory. That means that Dragonite is the last authentic shadow Pokemon. Oh, a Dragonite. Oh, that's right. We got the list of all the shadow Pokemon. I spoiled it for myself. <laughs> Whoops. The Myravera lost the signal. <clears throat> I'm surprised at that because he was close by. Yes, my uh, Ruby was the person who stole the Shadow Pokemon, I believe. Uh, I believe. So, anyway. Yes, it is Myra B. Now you fight on top of the lighthouse at uh, Gatium Port, who has the Shadow Dragonite, the last Pokemon ever made. Who? Golduck. Okay. So I believe we need to come to Gatheon Port. Indeed we do. Okay. Uh, do we go over here? It's been so long since I played this game, I do not remember. Hello, sir. Sees wide and his fathoms deep, so full of Pokemon, it'll make you weep. Oh, what's up, kid? Are you captivated by my singing? I'll have you know I said play second. Sure. Uh, whatever. Hey. Eh? I'll be honest, I don't know where to go. Is there anything in our PDA mailbox? Aha! Invitation to the Real Game Tower Coliseum. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, we haven't got any new... <sighs> any new mail. What if we talk to the guy in the parts shop? Cool. They could have at least told us where we need to go. Yo, lollies, big news. Real big news. That Robo Kyogre we've been telling you about is finally done. Once Grandpa got down to it, 
and he got serious with it, he put together something kind of amazing. Whoa, come here, come over here, guy. You have to listen to my grandpa. Right, get out of my get out of my way. There we go. Right, Persad, we've finally assembled the Robo Kyoga. It's truly a work of marvel. Hmm, what's wrong? Is some is anything the matter? Well it's explained. Well I'll be. Cypher's headquarters is on Citadel Dark Isle. And you intend to go there? Citadel Dark Isle, huh? When it's on a place like that, it's no wonder nobody found Cypher's base. The currents around the isle are swift and the weather is always stormy. The place can't be approached by sea or by air. Yeah, that was certainly true before, but now, however... Mm. I get it, Gramps. The Robo Kyogre, right? Precisely, Pear. Our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the isle. Alright, we must prepare to launch the Robo Kyogre for lollies. Come, Pear. Mm. Yes, sir. It's time. It is time, my dudes. We're gonna go to Soto Dark Isle. We're gonna kick some Cypher butt. I got a fucking mail. It sounds like the battle against Cypher is entering critical stage. There's something I'd like you to have. Please come see me on the ground floor of the lab when you can. My eyes always water when I do that voice for some reason. I have no idea why. Ah, here you are. Ever is oh, I skipped the text. Whoops. That is the Robo Kyoga. Doesn't its blue form thrill you? It is pretty nice, actually. It's all ready to go. You can leave whenever you're ready. Thank you. But I'm going off to see the professor. Off to see the professor. Hmm. Pokemon HQ Lab. I'm trying to get better with that voice so that it doesn't make my eyes water, but sadly it does. Mm. In here? Yeah. Hey, Lollies, I'm glad to see you back. There's something I want to give you, Lollies. Could you come here, please? <gasps> Is it the Master Ball? Is it the Master Ball? <gasps> Wah? Ha <laughs> ha Did that startle you? Now, come with me! I need an adult? Lollies, over this way! Please, come with me! Or come with me, please! How did you... <sighs> okay. The battle against Cypher appears to have entered a decisive phase! I think the situation calls for a special solution. Lollies, there's something here that I'd like you to see. Go on, open that box and take what's inside. Hey, we got a master ball. That's a master ball. It's the one Pokeball that is foolproof. It has a 100% catch ratio. You should only use it if you're sure that it's the right thing to do. Keep at it. Thank you, Professor Crane. Thanks, Professor Crane. I'm Crane. Alright, here we go. Set it our guile. Here we come. How's the team looking, actually? Uh, fairly weak, considering where we're going. You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't checked out the box. What mons do we actually have? I don't know what mons we have. Alright, apparently two. Purify chamber? Yeah, they're all in here, okay. So we got a scissor. Uh, anything that might be of interest for us to use. Medium, no. I mean, I'm still considering the Snorlax, but then, yeah, whatever. I don't. It doesn't matter. I'll purify Mons off screen. It's fine. We've all seen the purification process by now, so. Or if you're joining the series at this episode, then 
Hello! Uh, wh what the hell? <laughs> Go back and watch the other episodes. Honestly, it, it's worth it. It honestly is. Uh, right, where were we going? Gatium port. That's right. That's right. How many balls do I have? Hmm. That's the question. Oh, plenty. Oh, plenty balls. Excellent. Apologies for my nose as well. It's uh, it's really bothering me. Enter the Rubble Kyogre. Here we go. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. This thing is awesome. go. The first battle of Citadel Dark Isle. Hey yo, that thing you're riding on, it's kinda cool. I had this feeling I met you at the port somewhere, but I don't give a hoot about that. If I do have a problem when someone shows up here without passage on our boat. Here we go. Never get her absent. You got the shadow Pokemon for me, correct? Swampert and Sea King. Yo, please be Shadow Swampert. Sorry, he says? Nope. Oh, wait, level 33. Yeah. Alright, I thought we were gonna be, like, on par for the first few trainers and then be under levels for the rest of them. But we seem to be fairly okay, actually. That's good. That's really good, actually. That's great. It's excellent. Who's next? Who's next for the chopping block? Paris? Paris. Paris. Mudsport. Mudsport. Ha. Laughable. Absolutely laughable. Uh, let's go for the... Lusterberg. No, let's go for Dragon Breath. <laughs> the Psychic on the Swampert should beat it. Should knock it out. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Yes. Probably gonna make the next few episodes short ones, uh, so I've run 20 minutes. I've been given feedback in the case of that my videos seem to be a bit long for people, so we're gonna try and do a little shorter episodes from now on. I'm gonna run to at least 20 minutes minimum. Well, Shadow Ralts is not a surprise. We did have that spoiled for us last episode. Uh, I can't remember very many other ones, though. So that was why I was saying, Oh, please be Shadow Swampert. Blah. Blissy. Okay. Huh. You could probably survive a Psychic. It's not very effective. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy damage. Ugh. Apologies. Yawn. I'm so tired. I'm absolutely not good. Like, I don't get very much sleep at night uh, for some reason. It's just it comes with being an insomniac. <sighs> Pain in the ass, but uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. That's the way it goes, I guess. Can this animation be any longer? Come on. What level is Eeyore? 36. Okay, yeah, you're the lowest on the, on the team. Eh, well, Lapis. You're on par with Lapis, I guess. Uh, right. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt and the Blissey. And we're gonna throw Ball. Ultra Ball at the Rob. Let's get her caught. 
yo, I could rock out with two Gardevoirs. That would be awesome. That'd be a dream come true. One down, one to go. Come on. Damage. Yo, look at that terrible damage. Absolutely abysmal. I just realized things on my desk are shaking. That's weird. That's... That's weird. Psychic the Blissing. This should be hopefully decent damage. What? What? I'm gonna have to double team. I'm gonna have to hit it with both Lapis and Starmie. This is not what I wanted. I was hoping I could arm my nose, chip away at it with only one Mon, but uh, not looking like it. Not looking like it in the slightest. Psychic, big damage, big damage, critical hit. Thunderbolt. Come on. Critical hit. Come on. Ah, you're really... You're really not doing well. Alright. Ultra Ball. Just throw a Master Ball at it, will <laughs> I don't think there's a... I don't think there's an infinite ball sheet in this. I know there apparently was in Coliseum, although I never used it. I think I did try to use it, but it failed. Um, but I don't think there was in this. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. In fact, you know what? I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up after this episode. And, uh... Did we really need that shot? I mean, really? Come on. Okay. There's a guy down here. Let's speak to him. Hey. Okay. That doesn't go down anywhere. I can't get to an item that way. Uh, is there anything over here? No, no items. I definitely cannot take this elevator. That's fine. Ho ho ho. We made it inside. Okay, we have a couple minutes left, so let's go ahead and get another battle out of the way, I guess. You look suspicious. No, I don't. What are you talking about? Shut up. I'm not suspicious. What do you got? Polyrath and Sunkering. Don't you dare make the Sunkering shadow. In fact, you know what? It doesn't even matter at this point, because I have a great grass type on the team, so it's fine. Alright. Neither of them shadow. Good. Uh, Saki Sunkering. I should have used Luster Purge actually on the Polyrath. Now that I think about it, because that's stab. The Thunderbolt might not kill. Hmm. Hmm. Probably won't actually. Now that I think about it. It didn't, yeah. Yeah, like I thought. Like I thought. Like I suspected. I am gonna look out for a good uh, a good mon to replace Lapis with though, because I would like to get some t some type diversity on the team. And if that means replacing Lapis, then no, well, that means replacing Lapis. <laughs> Dragon Breath, you and Bull Blizzard. The Blizzard should finish the Polyrath off. All right, forget what, forget that. <laughs> Wow, didn't even do much to the Hypno. Hmm. 
Hypno's taking a very little amount of damage. Can we take a moment to to uh, recognize how bad a mon Hypno is? It's absolutely atrocious. Utterly garbage. Um, ma, ma, ma. let's do the no. Let's do Thunderbolt the Hypno. Let's see if it does any more damage than the Dragon Breath does. And we'll psychic, psychic the Polyrath. Yeah, we could have gone for another Blizzard, but I wasn't too sure about it because obviously it missed the Polyrath the first time. And it, I know it's not the most accurate of moves, so that's why I thought about holding. That's why I decided to hold off on Haunter. I was gonna say if I could get a third Gengar. That'd be terrible. Oh. This will be a really easy kill though. Like super easy kill. Luster Purge, Psychic. I didn't realize how big Haunter was. He's he's actually massive. And yet Gengar is slightly smaller. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. That is really weird. Weird. You're weird. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and end off today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Later, peeps.